I am Zaley Barclay. I'm a visual content creation coach. I specialize in video content, helping you to really have the confidence to get on camera, create smart video content that positions you as the expert in your industry and really helps you sell your products and services with ease. I'm also a Thinkific expert, which means I help you create an amazing platform and course experience for your students. And I do that through the Thinkific platform, right? Thinkific is an amazing course platform. I've been using them for years and it has definitely been a huge part of my business. So today, that's what I'll be sharing with you guys, courses. So let's dive in. So obviously courses are a bit different when it comes to video. You kind of would like to, or you have to, I would say master different types of video content, right? So you're mastering using different types of content. If you're already creating videos and you're already in the tech world, and that is great for you, uh, but there are different types of videos that really serve different purposes of videos. And what I'm gonna do is share some favorite tools of mine with you so that you can understand how to use videos in different ways so that you keep your students excited and engaged engaged and I'm also going to share with you a few tips that you need to think about when you're recording for a course it's a bit different for example you never say hey guys good morning because it leaves a timestamp on your course content and you don't want that <laughs> So it's always good to provide different types of video content for your students just to keep them interested and moving through your course. And so one of my favorite tools is actually Canva. I'm able to come in here and create amazing presentations for my people. And when I do that, I'm able to, let's say, do a voice over these presentations. I record that in probably QuickTime or in Filmora where I'm able to record myself speaking over the presentation itself. So I like that. I like coming in here and creating interactive and engaging content that keeps them awake, <laughs> ready to learn and moving through the content. So Canva is one of the secret tools that I use. I come in here and I'm able to manipulate my presentation, make it look amazing, still have it fall in alignment with my branding and share instead of my courses. And this has been a real hit with my students. Another one of my favorite video tools is actually called Ecamm Live. Ecamm is amazing because you can do lots of different things with it. You're able to go live on different platforms. So it's multi-streaming and you can also add interactive ideas inside of your videos. It's perfect for scheduling. So you're able to pre-schedule to specific platforms via Ecamm and it has amazing green screen capabilities. I like that you can screen share and share your screen. So if you're showing a process or giving an answer to someone, you're able to use Ecamm Ecamm live for that. And the amazing thing is you can also use Ecamm for recording. So let's say you're not live and you just want to record something for your people, you can do that as well. So talking head videos are obviously where you're seeing your face and you're talking or sharing something. These are great for introductions. They're great for your sales pages. They're also great for welcoming your students into the course and letting them know what you're gonna be covering with them next. So you wanna make sure that you're using these types of videos to also create a deeper connection with your student because when they see you, it's like you're next to them. It's like an, more of an in-person connection for learning and I really do recommend switching up your video content as it pertains to what you want your student to get out of your courses, out of your modules, out of your lessons. So take a few minutes to think about that before you create anything. Keep your course videos short, sweet, and to the point. If you're not gonna sit down and look at an hour worth of course content, please don't expect anyone else to. So keep your course videos short and sweet. You never want to timestamp your work with greetings. Or another one is you don't wanna say, hey guys, welcome to the Facebook 2.0 course, because then you can't use that video in the 3.0 course. So don't ever say the name of your course and don't ever say the time. Keep your slides just short and interactive, less worthy, so you are able to explain what you wanna explain and keep them listening to what you're saying while they're possibly looking at what you have on the 
apply. Okay, guys, I am about to head out of here. <laughs> I'm about to get the heck off of here. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that if you have any questions, you can definitely follow me on social media and ask me because I'll be happy to answer there. I am Zaley Barclay everywhere all across the internet you can also find out more about me over at zaleybarclay.com or you can visit my video academy over at startshootgrow.com i'm excited to connect with you there take care guys <laughs>